What's going on, guys? My name is Trey. Welcome to What Kind of Change. Today, we're going to be talking about Sean O'Malley. If you want to like and subscribe, please do after watching this video. Hey, you see the donations over here if you want to help us. We're working our way towards a PC soundboard. Much love. All right, let's get right into this video. So UFC champion Sean O'Malley says, I can cheat on my wife because I pay for everything. DJ, can I get a little bit of read music, please? And turn it down. You know, I know the people will be like, man, that's a little too loud. I understand. Give me something. Welcome to the Sugar Show. Where UFC champion. I'm just kidding. Sean Molly says he, will, he can do whatever. Let me turn it down. That's a little bit. Welcome to the Sugar Show, where UFC champion Sean O'Malley says he can do whatever he, he can do whatever, whenever, with whomever he pleases. I'm a king. I pay for everything. O'Malley said while I guess on Bradley Martin's Raw uh, Raw Talk podcast, I treat Dana like a queen. If I get a little, you know what, on the side, what does that have to do with anything? I have to start the run running through my veins. It's simple, baby. The recently crowned UFC bantamweight weight champion has been a been in a long. Long been in an open relationship with his wife, Dana Gonzalez, and he once claimed they have dope threesomes together. <laughs> if I wasn't paying for everything, and if I wasn't, you know, successful in any sort of way, and I was just like maybe an average Joe, I probably wouldn't. It probably wouldn't be fair, but I'm a fucking King Kong, baby, O'Malley said. Now, he's going to talk about more here in a second, but let's, uh, let's, have, a, let's have a conversation. See, this is the whole high value thing that we've talked about before, huh? Hannah, all this kind of stuff. Hannah Pearl Davis, fresh and fit. The, uh, I've, re I've listened to Andrew Tate here lately. I haven't heard him saying that again, but if he has, he has. I don't know. You guys are probably more fanboys of him than I am. That's fine. Uh, listen. I do not believe in cheating, obviously, and I don't believe that if somebody's making enough money, they should be able to cheat on you. My only argument has ever been, and though I disagree with it, is that if you get somebody who makes a lot of money, yeah, there's a chance that they're probably going to sleep with other women. Do I agree with that? Of course not. But as you hear Sean saying, they get this th the concept in their head saying, oh, well, I make enough money. I'm going to do what I got to do. And what's going to happen is enough women aren't going to leave these men because they're making a lot of money. You think your girl's going to go from dating Sean, who's making a lot of money, to go date the guy who works second shift at the factory? No! <laughs> That's not how it works. He says a little bit more here. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Sean O'Malley. The couple has a daughter together, Alina, who was born in 2020. I'm a crazy mother fluffer. O'Malley said, I put myself on a leash. I have a very disciplined lifestyle. I could for sure go out and do some bumps, go out off the go off the rails easily, even if I didn't have discipline. Oh, dude, I'd be crazy. I'd be Conor McGregor for sure. I'd be hitting booger sugar on my yacht and blow all my money. But I live a very disciplined life. And I, if I want to get a little bit of, you know, <laughs> what the fuck? It makes me a better man. Instead, O'Malley references uh, Andrew Tate for his thought process regarding polygamy. Andrew Tate explains it well. It's status. You know, I got status, so I can... O'Malley potentially referencing this clip of Tate. And in this, that clip, Tate says, It's about status. What can a woman do for you? She can give you status. So, what is my opinion on this man saying something like this? Because he's got a little bit of bread in his pocket, a little bit of... Change. Listen. Guys, I'm just so over having this conversation about who can cheat and who cannot cheat. If you're going to get with a man who is making tons of money, is there a chance he may be, um, is there a chance he may cheat on you? Yes. There's also a chance that the average man may cheat on you. Yes. Um, should you take it? Should you just go with it because he's making enough money? No. I don't think you should. Do I think you should end a whole relationship if a man steps out once on you? No. This it all comes down to circumstances, right? I could we could talk about the nuance. We could talk about how you did everything. You wiped his booty cheeks. You did the. You washed the dishes. You cleaned the whole house. Dang, you even put tile on the roof. You did it all, and he still cheated. And there's gonna be a situation where he you were doing everything right. Something went wrong. He had a slip up one night, and he was very remorseful, and he felt bad, and he didn't want to do you like that. 
you know, every situation different. I'm not going to tell you if you should divorce your man. I don't know. I'm not in this. Con I'm not in your marriage. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what caused the man to cheat. I don't know what took him there. So I'm not going to say leave or don't leave. That's not up to me. Use your head. Okay. At the same time, if you are a rich man, a wealthy man, I doubt you're watching this channel. But if you are, do I condone you cheating? Of course not. You, you can't say I'm a very disciplined man, but you can't keep your dick in your pants. Got to say it. If you can't keep it in your pants, there's something wrong. Can't say I'm disciplined in all this stuff, but if I want to go out and give me a little, ch -ch, you know, I'm going to do it. No. See, if you're going to commit that way, you got to commit all the way around. I know it's so glamorous to be able to just go sleep with another woman, right? And it means nothing. It's just a handshake, right? It's just exercising our options, right? No. No. Why do we have to treat women as if they are such a broken commodity? If they're just, oh, there, if we need some of that good, good. I understand a woman can mean so much more. <clears throat> that Somebody may go out and have sex with somebody, but their wife takes care of everything at the house. She's your rock. She's your solid rock. And you got a little sand on the side. Somebody you can just go, you know, hook up with, get back to the house. Right. I get what the argument is. However, it doesn't make it right. You shouldn't be going out and go get some more sand. If you're not going to get some that night, you're not going to get some that night. Now, to be fair, I think a woman should, if a man has a high sex drive, you should give it, give it to him as often as you can. Don't make excuses not to give it to him just because you don't want to. Right. Um, there has to be some sacrifice. If a man has a high sex drive, then yeah, you're married. You know, you want to be able to give him that life. Sacrifices all the way around. If he's got to go to work 80 hours a week, I think you should be able to just give him something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It shouldn't be. And here's one thing I will say for the men. Listen, women, I understand you got, um, I understand you got the thing between your legs. I get it. But that's not a gift. That is not something you wrap up in a present. That's not something you hold over a man's head. Like, oh, you didn't do me right tonight, so he ain't getting that. Mm -mm -mm. I don't want to hear all that. That should never be a gift, especially in his case, he's married. So if you're a married man, you, your wife should not be holding sex over you like it's a dang doggy treat. And you got to do everything just right to get it. If you got a woman like that, y'all need to sit down and have some real conversations. Because that's not how sex is supposed to be used. It's not something you're supposed to avoid just because you don't want it like that. I understand being sick. I understand if, you know, you're in pain. I understand if you're obviously on your cycle. I get all that. But just to be uh, vindictive or just to be mean or just to be like, oh, it's the best gift on the earth. I'm sorry, boo-boo. It's not. It's not. It may seem like that. And these these little songs y'all hear and the stuff y'all watch on TikTok may make you thinking that that coochie is the best thing on earth. It is not. It is not. So stop treating it as if it's gold. It is something that's supposed to be for your man. That thing is for your man. And he's in the restroom, but it's also for your man. And for production of a baby. It is not to be held like it's a dang gift from the gods. It's part of your anatomy. You were born with it. It's not like you earned it. You were born with it. So don't be holding it over a man's head and trying to keep him from having sex at every chance you get, that's just ridiculous. And that's just, it's frustrating. It's frustrating when I hear men talk that way. When I watch these, um, these little podcasts with women sometimes and they're just like, oh, I don't give him none if he don't wash the dishes. It's like, when, <laughs> what? <laughs> are, you, are you a clown? You don't do that to a man. Y'all living in a house together, probably both paying the bills. You cannot hold sex over him like he's a dog. And then be upset when all he be upset with him. You know, when he when he's uh normally just asking for sex and he's just trying to get it. Right? And then you get upset with him when he doesn't want to go five hours. When you hold it over him like a dang dog. It becomes less precious when women do that. Men just start saying, Well, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> they do. Right. Sorry for the language, but that's just how it, how it comes across. It's just like if you're going to do that every single day, if I'm going to get if I'm going to have sex once every two weeks, screw it, man. Screw it then. And that's not right, because then you're forcing a man to be even more disciplined than he needs to. He's in a marriage to have relations with you. So in the possibility of having a family, but that intimacy should be there. It shouldn't be like it shouldn't be like <laughs> he's in a relationship with his wife. 
and he's dang near got to be blue balled every day. He's got to discipline himself not to do anything with himself because his wife just won't simply give him some. That's just goofy. So women, please don't do that to your man. It's just goofy. Don't listen to these stupid songs. Don't hang it over nobody's head. Just give it to the man. Um, but cheating, money, no money. Completely disagree. That's just kind of foolish. All right, I'm gone.